Example two for multiplying monomials over polynomials. As we look at this first part of the problem, it, it indicates that we need to distribute the 5x across the set of parentheses. As they distribute across here, this becomes 5 times 2, which would be 10. x times x squared would be x cubed. And then I move to the second set of terms. 5 times negative 3 would be negative 15. x, x with common bases become x squared. y just comes straight down unchanged. And with my last distribution, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. There is no common base, so each of these variables will just be rewritten as x, y. We tend to write these in alphabetical order. And then I bring this last term down, which was a plus 7 x squared y. My next step is to look for any common terms, some like variables. So I combine my like variables. I see that this negative 15 x squared y would match up with this 7 x squared y because they have the same label or same variables. And so I could write this as 10 x cubed plus, oops, minus, because negative 15 plus 7 would be negative 8 x squared y minus 20 xy. As I look at the three terms that are left, I see that the labels are all different, so that tells me I would stop. I'm just going to rewrite this to clean this up a little bit. It'd be 10x cubed minus 8x squared y minus 20xy. The key to adding and subtracting when you're multiplying is that after you multiply, after you create the new terms, look to find the like labels or like terms. When the like variables are combined up, you end up with a simplified expression. In this case, it was 10x cubed minus 8x squared y minus 20xy. All the labels are different. That's how I know that I'm done.